Thank you. Perfect show. Recently, Tarkov has been lacking the kick it used to have for me. What was once a thrilling escapade into the Russian frontier now seems all too familiar. And I think it's due to Tarkov no longer being as scary as it used to be, in the sense that I already know what to expect. EFT's beta has been public for almost six years now. Is that right? Damn. I'm old. Which is quite some time, and while it's advertised as being a hardcore survival shooter, you'd think it'd have some sort of bumper reels for new players? No. It doesn't. The lack of any objective tutorial is the reason there's like a bajillion new player guides on YouTube. And to top it off, there's no in-game map. Okay, yeah, there are the map items, but one, the maps only cover five out of the nine locations that currently exist, and two, you look at me with a straight face and tell me you're gonna navigate with this. But in all honesty, it's what's kept me playing. The initial fear from just being dropped into a world with little to no help and told to go find some sailors, it's enticing. But once you memorize the maps, AI quirks, and controls, it's a bit repetitive. Speaking of controls, controls. Tarkov utilizes a mouse and keyboard for navigating most of the game, a control scheme that lends itself well to Tarkov's in-depth gunplay mechanics. So a controller would be totally out of the question, right? I mean, Tarkov's way too complicated to be relegated to such a simple input method. So in my pursuit of trying to make Tarkov fun again, I challenged myself to only use a controller. Some caveats before I get too far into this. Tarkov doesn't officially support any controllers. The only way to achieve this is to launch the game through Steam's built-in controller function. So technically, this could breach BSG terms of service. I mean, it doesn't really give you a competitive advantage. If anything, it makes you worse, but they've banned accounts for less. So I'll leave a link to the video I used to set this up, but try it at your own risk. Another thing to consider is that with Tarkov not officially having any controller support means that there's no aim assist, so trying to line up shots at any distance is a struggle. Lastly, you're most likely not going to be able to map every function. While Steam does allow you to map specific keys, there's a limit to most mainstream controllers, namely actions that require more than one key press. In my case, I was unable to map VoIP, Check Mag, Check Chamber, Hotkeying Grenades, and some other miscellaneous stuff. So why do any of this? Why subject myself to a form of psychological punishment in the pursuit of trying to make Tarkov exciting again? I don't know, but I hope it'll be funny to watch my brain wither away in real time. Before I got into Raid, I immediately realized something. The mouse speed in the menus is atrocious. Like, mind-numbingly slow. Uh, when I started, I told myself I wouldn't touch the keyboard and mouse unless I had to, so navigating the menus took a bit of getting used to. For my first raid, I wanted to get my bearings, so I went with a familiar environment on customs. Spawning big right side of the main river, I took a second to familiarize myself with the controls before cautiously making my way towards the river crossing. Pausing briefly to check some dashes, I round a corner and find a PMC cresting the hill in front of me. Realizing I wasn't comfortable enough with the new controls that I would be capable of actually fighting someone, I decided to let him pass. And then, in a bold move, I attempted to cast a spell on the PMC, which is risky considering BSG's recent strong stance against witchcraft and the like. After mustering up enough courage to peek my head around the corner, I cautiously continued through REOEF, passing Crack House and to Mounting Fear, found the second floor exterior door open, but I make my way along the wall and across the train track and over into Old Gas. 
Now my goal for this raid was to get scav kills, since I was only one away from finishing Aquarius Part 2. And yeah, I know, it's like 5 months into wipe and I'm still level 19, but I was uh, really busy. Dude, I'm level 7 fishing! So my master plan was that I was just gonna wait in old gas for the second wave of scavs and then I'd kill one and extract through old gas basement. But after 15 minutes had passed and there were still no signs of the local inhabitants, I gave up and decided to go seek them out myself. Crossing through Warehouse 3, I began looting Depot when I heard footsteps heading towards the south entrance. Well, that could have gone better, but for my first engagement with the controller, I marked this down as a learning experience. After returning to the stash, I came to a startling realization. Uh. I'll gloss over these next few raids since nothing really happened, I was just grinding for rubles. I did actually manage to do tech room jump uh, with a controller, so that's something. For this next raid, I decided to go factory with a teammate of mine. And I hear you, doesn't bringing a teammate defeat the challenge of trying to use a controller? Normally, yes, but he has less than a hundred hours in Tarkov, and, uh, uh, I'm trying to skirt around calling him cannon fodder, so he is my one-time use player detective. You'll see what I mean. Which one of you f***ers at BSG thought that weapon malfunctions was a good addition to the game? Lord help you, if I find out, because there is not enough ballistic strength on God's green earth to prevent me from utterly decimating you. After that total failure on Factory, I decided that I'd help my teammate out with a couple quests on customs. But our first raid got cut all short. And our second raid wasn't much better.
third raid was actually going pretty well. I even managed to get the last scav kill that I needed. Up until we arrived at Old Gas. So, the only reason I was even able to run away was after killing my teammate, the streamer began inebriating himself on a controlled substance. Okay, he actually got away? I mean, he was full sprinting, but I didn't think he was going to be able to go that far. So, I headed over to New Gas and started heading out the back when, uh, I heard a bit of a commotion. That sounds like a lot of yelling. But I mean, what are the chances of Rashala spawning two raids in a row? So, after playing Tarkov for a week straight and only using a controller, did it improve my enjoyment of the game? Kinda. I did enjoy having the extra challenge of adapting to a whole new input method, but it felt like it just amplified how already bad at Tarkov I am. But as the legendary philosopher Confucius once proclaimed, you cannot end on a loss. How many times do I gotta fucking tell you? Five, seven cents into the heaven. Come and go.